Hello students, I am Ms. Ranita Panto, Assistant Professor from the Department of ECE SMVITM College. So today we will be discussing about the generation of three phase voltages. Now you know a three phase supply is a set of three alternating quantities displaced from each other by an angle of 120 degree. Now three phase voltages can be generated by placing three rectangular coils. So you can see in this figure you have these three rectangular coils displaced in space by 120 degree. So you can see here three co coils R1, R2 is one coil, Y1, Y2 is another coil, B1, B2 is another coil. So you can see from R1 to Y1 this is it is 120 degree. From Y1 to B1, it is 120 degree. Back then B1 to R1, it is again 120 degree. So all three coils are displaced from each other by 120 degree. Now when this coil is rotated with a uniform angular velocity of omega radians per second. So a sinusoidal EMF displaced by 120 degree is induced in these coils. So these coils named as R1, R2, B1, B2, Y1, Y2, these are mounted on the shaft. So ends of each coils are brought out through the slip rings and brush arrangement to collect the induced EMF. Now let E, R1, R2, uh, uh, let me take E, R, E, Y and E, B as the three independent voltages. Now you can see this graph here of three phase voltages. So I mentioned here R1, R2, this is nothing but the uh, R coil, E Y1, Y2, that is nothing but the voltage by the Y coil, E B1, B2, which is nothing but the voltage by the B coil. So instead of writing it as R1, R2, I'll just write it as R, Y1, Y2, Y, and instead of writing B1, B2, I'll collectively write it as B. So these are the three independent voltages which is induced in the coils. So these voltages are induced in the coil um, um, R1, R2, Y1, Y2 and B1, B2. Now you can see all are alternating voltages which are same magnitude and frequency as they are rotated at uniform speed. Suppose I assume that this ER is the reference and is zero for the instant shown in the figure. So I'm taking this as that the voltage induced in the coil R1, R2 that is ER voltage which is the reference. Let me take it as a reference. So it is zero at particular time. Now what happens is if you see here if you see this phase diagram or even if you see this figure what happens if you see here you can see the next voltage y is displaced from the previous voltage by exactly 120 degree see here exactly 120 degree after y if you see b the b coil the voltage by the b coil is exactly 120 degree from the y coil so this is nothing but 120 degree displaced again So you can see each of the voltages are displaced by 120 degree from each other. So R is nothing but the reference here. So if I see this now, you can say Y is displaced from R by 120 degree. Also B is displaced from Y by 120 degree. If I take B and R then B is displaced from R by 240 degrees, right? Now, three phase voltages, you have already seen how it is displaced from each other. Now, let us write the equations. Now, how can I write this? You already know the voltage induced by the R1, R2 coil is the reference. That is nothing but ER is the reference. So, when, the, when it is the reference, the voltage 
can voltage equation can be written as er is equal to em sin omega t next if you see y the voltage induced by the y coil is displaced by the r coil by exactly 120 degree that means voltage by the y coil is displaced by 120 degree from the reference because this is nothing but the reference here as i've already told you this is nothing but the reference so you can also write it as EY is equal to EM sin omega t minus 120 degree. Why minus 120 degree? Because it is displaced by 120 degree from the reference. Next, B1, B2. Now again, if you have to write this, how can I write the voltage induced by the B1, B2 coil? Clearly, voltage induced by the B1, B2 coil is displaced by the reference by exactly 240 degrees. That means I can write EB is equal to EM sin omega t minus 240 degrees. So this 240 degrees will specify that from the reference it is displaced by exactly 240 degree. So sum of three voltages at any instant is given by ER plus EY plus EB equal to 0 degree. So this is how the three phase voltages are generated. So you need to remember this. Three independent voltages are generated and all the voltages are displaced by each other by exactly 120 degree. Next is the phase sequence. So the order in which the voltages in the phases reaches their maximum positive value is called the phase sequence. Now if you see this graph, if you see here R1, R2, the voltage induced by the R1, R2 coil is reaching its maximum first next the voltage induced by the y1 y2 coil or you can say the y coil is attaining its maximum the third is the b coil that is the voltage induced by the b coil is induced uh, is uh, attaining its maximum that means for a normal convention i can say the phase sequence here is nothing but r y b so phase sequence will tell you which phase will attain its maximum first so according to this you can say r is attaining its maximum first then y it is attaining the maximum then at last b is attaining the maximum so r y b will tell you which phase will attain its maximum first so that is about the phase sequence so for normal convention, RYB is considered as positive. That is, if you go like this, RYB clockwise, it is considered as positive. Whereas, the phase sequence RBY, that is, if you go anti-clockwise, it is said to be negative. So, this is about the phase sequence. Thank you.